really looking forward to a good comedy because I've not seen a cinema in a month. I haven't seen a massive screen or a comfy seat or popcorn for a month. I'm really excited. Obviously, you've been deprived for a month, but there were some highlights down there as well. Looking back, what are your fondest memories? I have got so many laughable moments that I actually, like the cyclone, I feel like all the trials mounted up to that one cyclone moment where I just took the power back. In terms of the other people, is there anyone you're missing and who are you not missing? Um, do you know what? It's weird waking up every day and not, well, for the one day I've been out and not seeing Duncan's face, Tony yelling out to wake us up, George still in his sleeping bag with Vicky, still in her sleeping bag, and Yvette just sat really sad on her bed. <laughs> And are you proud of yourself, not just for surviving, but for doing as well as you did? I am so proud of myself because at one point I wanted to give up, but I didn't give up. And therefore, in life, you should never give up because there's always the light at the end of the tunnel. When you got back to civilization, what was the first thing you did in your hotel room? I ate loads of puddings. I ordered two puddings, but because my belly couldn't take it, I was sick. I was good. I wanted to eat it back in. Ew! <laughs> when you're not stuffing yourself with pudding, what have you got planned for 2016? What, what, what have you got? I'd probably go to the gym more so I can eat more pudding. Got a message to fans before you leave us? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, for voting. You have been amazing, and I love you all. And thank you for your Twitter and Instagram messages.